Okay, we're back here live in Boston, Massachusetts. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's exclusive coverage of two days of live coverage of the HP Vertica user conference. Their top customers, their top users are here. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We're out the events, extract the signal from the noise. And I'm joined with my co-host. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante, Wikibon.org. As John said, we're here in Boston. Lobster, chowder, the socks. <laughs> Billy Bean, Oakland A's, how do you get here? Road. Yeah, Billy Bean, I thought this, when I first saw this, I thought the, the, the A's were in town, but, uh, but no, he's coming out just for <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Andy McBean is here. Andy is the Vice President of Vertica Ecosystems and Solutions. Andy, welcome to theCUBE. Yeah, thanks very much, thanks for having me. You know, we heard, you're welcome, we heard Colin this morning talking about the emphasis of this conference and, and he talked about, hey, this is not about us, it's not about HP, it's not about Vertica, it's all about our customers and it's about our ecosystem. That's going to, good props for you and you know, what you're doing in your role. So you must be happy. I mean, you guys sold out. It's August. This is the first time through. Maybe you were a little nervous a couple of months ago, but boy, you knocked it out of the park. No, I think that's actually to totally fair. I mean, we, we look back at the success of this, um, sort of like going back five months when it was originally planned. And um, we went from kind of nowhere to sort of like saying, can we hold a user conference and get it done? Um, and our primary plan was to get our partners in to actually sort of like sponsor everything with us, um, come along, show that they support Vertica. And uh, we were, on the fence about whether or not we'd be able to sort of like book everybody, but if you look at the uh, the, the exhibition floor, you'll find out we have we, we had excellent attendance from our sponsors. Um, every one of our partners wanted to attend. Uh, we could have sold, we could have done a great job selling more space if we really wanted to, but we are so happy with basically the floor. Um, the booths are always attended, and uh, we can't really, really can't be more happy so, how it so, turned out. So talk about why that is. This is you know, we know the cube goes to a lot of conferences, right? Yep. And and sometimes it feels like it's saturated, but in certain spaces, maybe big data is one of them. There seems to be just unlimited demand. So, you yep. know, well, well, why do you think you were able to you know have more more demand than supply? Well, I, th I think really it's just that. So I mean, there's so much buzz still around Vertica. I mean, we're doing we're doing very very well. Um, the technology still is is very hot. We're in a hot space. And a lot of our partners are, are actually sort of like looking um, to, to go with us as, 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 as we get better. Um, and um, we have so many partners that now just are looking to us to sort of like open their market for them too. So they see us as a vehicle by which they can actually sort of like get their own market share and market growth by, by working with us. So everybody um, over the last couple of years, and this is one thing that HP's really done well for Vertica, was it opened up our market to a lot more customers that originally when we were just a startup company prior to the acquisition, may not have considered working with us, but because we're HP now, um, we, we attracted a whole a whole swathe of everybody that, that would may have thought about to, may have thought about working with a startup to actually wanting to come and work with HP. So talk about how you look at the ecosystem, how you and HP Vertica have architected it, um, what's the strategy, and how would you describe it? So that, that the, the, the whole of the, our, our ecosystem is, is around sort of like a, obviously end-to-end -end data, data deployment, data delivery, um, and getting insight into the big data space. So our partners uh, are all aspects of our ecosystem, and our partners are around sort of like a, getting data into Vertica, getting data out of Vertica, deriving value from that data in Vertica, and we have partners that are developing upon Vertica, tool sets that actually enable our users to, to develop in Vertica, and uh, manage Vertica. There, there are many, many accesses to the way that our partners can actually get involved with us. Um, so there's not one single access of our ecosystem where we, we, we have a lack of partnerships right now um, that people want to work with us. And so we just want to make sure that we've got a kind of full 360 degree coverage around every, every area that works with us. And to, to date, uh, we have really no area where I feel we're deficient in terms of sort of like having a partner that can actually answer a task for our customer. And you talk about the challenge in the marketplace you have out there, and you actually have a marketplace that you guys are launching with your ecosystem. Um, and obviously you have, you have a lot of growth in the marketplace, yep. and you talk about technology partners. A lot more innovations coming down the pike relative to new things. Um, speed, new software, new software architectures, convergence. So uh, it's new technology on top of market forces where the customers have new demand. So how do, you, how do you manage an ecosystem where you have massive growth and innovation on the product side and demand on the education services side? Because you know, partners, whether they're a reseller, OEM, SI, or technology partner, you know, training and, and being enabled to wrap their own services or software around things, it's really, really important then to hire margins. So it, it, how do you manage those two, two, like, it, two things? It's very, very hard, especially sort of like when you look at sort of like our, 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 the way that we've grown over the last couple of years. Um, we're, we're still essentially a small unit within HP, um, but, we're, but we have an ecosystem that looks like we were from a company much bigger. 
<laughs> so um, I, I look at that. I mean, HP I, gives you a little bit more muscle. It, you know, it, for that being it, the it does, vertica it that does you but work. it also attracted us more, more business. Yeah. So for me personally, so obviously my team is, therefore gets a little more stretched when we're actually having to service those guys. <laughs> um, but um, it's, 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 it's a challenge on data, but as we roll out more and more features in Vertica, then obviously each of our partners want to know about it. So my team and, uh, and I, have a, I have a great team that work under me on this area that basically have to go and evangelize the Vertica new features to those partners and then hopefully those partners will adopt that new technology into their product line. And, that, and so my goal is to actually make sure that we can actually get that information to them to actually enable them to actually adopt our technology as we develop it. We covered this a little bit with Colin Mahoney, who's the uh, general manager. We also have Chris uh, Saland as well. Yep. Um, and for the folks out there, it's my.vertica.com is kind of the, the community, I guess, the portal. That's right. Is that the marketplace? So explain this new marketplace that's developing. So uh, you, got, you guys call the vertical marketplace. Certainly, the marketplace isn't, my, isn't one of my areas. Um, that's actually sort of like uh, one of our sales channels is being developed by a marketing team, so it's not really my main area of responsibility, but it's actually from an ecosystem standpoint and where we're, where we're going to take it. We actually see that as a vehicle by where um, we have partner technology that we believe can be easily web deployed or, or web downloadable. Um, that like connectors and things of exactly. that nature. Um, you've been even, well, we're actually even looking up to sort of like people that might have freemium sales models related to their applications where they're prepared to actually let us where we believe that they actually have a, a very good value add for Vertica. So you guys become distribution for other partners. Exactly, so we actually become a... a Your a, app store. It's, it's true, it's a true app store. Not in, not in the sense of an app, to obviously not to, app, to a mobile, yeah, but solution but store. Solution store related to... Um, like the app store for Apple, but you guys, it's more <laughs> technical version. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a front page where, where, where our customers can go to get Vertica value add from, yeah. our, from our ecosystem. And that's good for in partners too, because they it can is. then mix and match their own stuff. Yeah, and certainly in the freemium sales model from our partners, there's obviously then, that, that gets their, their products in front of our customers. Um, it gets our customers the benefit of their tools. And at some point then, obviously, we can work with the partners to actually, if there's an upsell opportunity for either for them or for further development of our, our, our customer. Obviously the growing market, product market fits pretty strong with Vertica right now, so it's just got, and you got market growth and demand in general, so that's kind of rising the tide, if you will, it's floating all the boats. Uh, traditionally, when you deal with ecosystems, you need incentives to get people to kind of buy into to the to technologies, whether it's soft dollars, incentives, some sort of, what, do you guys, any of that kind of programs going on? Uh, or is it just, I actually don't it, think we've needed so them. Much we, demand we have not needed them yet. <laughs> so, um, our, we actually have, so, if I could, I, I can't relate to it, I can't give you a specific name, but we had uh, two or three companies where we, we could not make any, any form of penetration or get any kind of interest for Vertica to be, a, to be integrated with these, with these, with these, custom, with these uh, um, large, large companies. companies. <laughs> and, uh, I think we know <laughs> who that is. So, um, but over time, <laughs> as, that, as that sort of like, uh, we, we got into HP, and our, our growth has continued and it wasn't stymied, then the, 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 rather than us having to chase partners, the partners are actually coming to us. Describe that environment large. for us. It's a sophisticated environment, or it's a classic enterprise, or both? Or you have multiple use cases there. Oh, we have, we, we have, so we have, we have SMB plays, and we have full enterprise plays, both from all of our partners. Um, we ha there really is no, um, we don't specialize in sort of like big partners, small partners. It's, it's pretty much, we have startup companies that want to come work with yeah. us, in which case we actually fully endorse startups. That's where we came from. And also we work with very, very large enterprises. So you know, Dave and I were talking about, when we did our intro about the, the caliber of uh, the people here, a lot of heavyweights, no lightweights on the tech side. And actually one of the customers came on theCUBE and said, you know, that he, and he's a you know, senior you know, tech manager in IT, he's like, I was very skeptical of Vertica. And then he goes, <laughs> my, my, one of my direct reports, the Oracle guy said, absolutely no F and W, this is going to happen. Yep. You know, totally hardcore, no Vertica, like hatred. Yep. Boom, converted both of them. Yep. And that was, I mean, that's consistent from other things we're hearing. That's the kind of pull you're getting right now, isn't it? It is, and I, and I think that's even, res even reflected back through our partners. It's, 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 it's one of these things that is like, when we actually, sort of, we opened up a sort of like a performance center for our partners right now where we actually, if they, they obviously can't invest in building a hardware, uh, a hardware environment where they can test the scale that we can deploy. So we actually get the baseline integrations done with those guys. and. Uh, then we actually open up our equipment and our hardware and our data center for them to come and test on. And that's when they start to put their product on top of what we can do. And all of a sudden they see their product in a whole different light because yeah. their products are now performing at a level above where they would normally wouldn't see it because of basically the speed of our product. And we've also on lunch, we heard from Accenture and what I find mind boggling also is that on the partner side, the system integrators are becoming more like developers. So you're seeing on the security side, we heard from Accenture and they're like, hey, you know, we're seeing all the security threats. We need rapid agile response. We don't have time for ETL and BI old systems. You know, I put that out of the passion. We need faster stuff now. 
because they have to make priority decisions every day when they walk in. So just the business dynamics are changing significantly. So that requires new software. Um, what's happening on the software side above Vertica? I mean, now you guys create good clustering, good, good infrastructure that enables speed. We've heard that. Yeah. What's on top of Vertica that you see on the BI side that's been compelling? That's a different model that, than ever, ever seen before. Well, it's, it's sort of like BI has, it's kind of, you've got like a, there's, there's kind of two types of, sort of like the BI, BI applications out there. They've, you've got like um, a, a people that have their own kind of in-memory cubes or their own, in, they have to suck the data up into in-memory and then they can do really fast work on top of their own in-memory profile. And those are kind of the darlings of a few years ago. Where, where the databases weren't fast enough to service those guys. And there's always been people that have actually just pushed the, data, the, the queries down to the database. So now that time has moved on, the database technology has now leapfrogged the old database technology, and it's also leapfrogged the guys that tried to do it with a sort of like a pure kind of uh, uh, in-memory cache. I mean, I'm not talking about in-memory databases, I'm talking about BI in-memory yeah. plays. Yeah. So those guys now are starting to sort of like also see that change that they actually can't suck up the volumes of data that we have to handle into that kind of cache to actually get performance. So you see that the, the BI market actually now shifting back to where they have to actually push down into, into, into databases, whether it be ours or our competitors, because to actually handle the size and scale, they have to rely yeah, on so the, the underlying databases. so the caches were built for old databases, but now the better databases now are, are spread out horizontally. It's, it's not quite built for well, I bet, an advert, but, but it, it was obviously built there to actually gain performance around, sort of like, yeah. and actually provide a Make up for the limitations of yeah. databases. And now so, so you have to basically look for the, power, the partners now that are prepared to push down into us and leverage our power. So and you're coming at this from an architect's view. You've, so you had an architect role, and now you're sort of transitioned into a sort of partnership and ecosystem role. That, so talk I, about that so I, have a, I just have an interesting career path. Yeah. I've been in, in and out of, uh, so I started in uh, support, I've been through pre-sales, I've been through consulting when I was in the UK, um, and uh, I've, I've been in and out of development jobs. This is actually my second time being acquired as a, from a startup company at HP, so this is my second time to HP but I'm now a 10-year yeah, HP yeah, yeah, yeah. employee, <laughs> um, three years of which were with, with Vertica. They keep all your report performance yeah. reviews on so file from the old days. Yeah. Yeah. They're, still the, they're still in the system. You, you same employee on. number? The yeah. same employee number. Nice, that's good. So good. It was, um, it's, it's been, a, and I can certainly, I can certainly. I hope that. they shred my uh, performance room reviews from <laughs> 1988 to 97. Well, they obviously they didn't throw me out when I came back, so <laughs> it was a, it's, been, it's, been a good, it's been a good second time. I wonder if we could talk about OpenStack a little bit. Um, you know, that's obviously a big push for HP. Is there a play with Vertica? and OpenStack, and if so, what is it? So we actually are looking towards, obviously, uh, um, HP's endorsing OpenStack as a cloud delivery platform. Um, so it's, it's, it's a natural fit. Um, there are a couple of initiatives going on within HP related to um, yeah. OpenStack. At least a couple. Both, at least a couple. <laughs> and um, so there's actually also extensions to OpenStack to support databases um, that you'll see um, that um, our cloud services division is, is actually championing. Um, and we're massive contributors into OpenStack. Um, we see a natural fit for um, the way that uh, um, the cloud itself will, or at least um, the not Amazon cloud, will, will, will be developing if you look at the partnerships around OpenStack. And uh, uh, we, we see it have a, a, a very valuable play on top of, uh, of our platform. It, um, it gives us a nice, uh, uh, neutralized way of actually addressing our, our clusters. So what's your vision? I mean, this is, uh, the inaugural conference, you got to be really pleased, sold out, could have sold more. Um, what's your vision for the ecosystem? Obviously a conference like this is great for the ecosystem. It validates what you're yep. doing. It actually, it actually puts a frame around it and says, wow, you can actually feel it and touch it and other people can see it and you create this buzz. So what's your vision for the, for the ecosystem and the direction that you want to take? So this? I think really, when you, if you look at it, we, we obviously, so we want, to continue to grow our partner base regardless. Uh, and we actually want to actually sort of like um, be able to sort of like uh, grow, our, 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 grow our business alongside our partner's businesses. So we're looking for, the, for, for, for height for all of the partners that want to actually adopt our technology and run with us. And we believe that if, if we actually can, that for, the, for the companies that actually want to, to work with us, that there will be a very, very good future for both them and us. Um, we actually see it growing over time, and as I think if you listen to Colin's keynote this morning on the stage, um, you'll, have, you'll have found out that we actually still, we actually value diversity of our partners, so we, we, we won't pigeonhole individual BI companies as favorites, we, 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 we endorse them all. Um, and the, the partners that we, 
that, that want to, to run with us and actually adopt our technology may do better than others. Right. So uh, and that's, uh, we open that as a challenge to those guys. Andy, so. thanks for coming on theCUBE, we really appreciate it. I want to get you the last word in, I want you to share with the folks out there um, your vision and plan for the ecosystem. What, what should they expect? Obviously we heard from Chris, uh, VP of Marketing, you know, openness, customer stories, you know, very nice, really nice message of, of a leader like what you guys are doing at Vertica. But what, from your standpoint, what's your uh, objective in the next, next year? So I, I just expect to see a much better breadth of, I mean, increased breadth of companies that work with us. And uh, I think you'll see a, a, a large number of companies that will actually just be endorsing the Vertica technology uh, and HP's general um, big data portfolio. And uh, I look forward to uh, the, 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 the couple of years ahead, especially as I look, I look back to where we were yeah. two years ago, and I look forward to where we're going to be two years' time, and I think it's going to be a, a, a radically different picture, and I'm very, very happy with it. You know, we've been watching Vertica since it's been a startup, and uh, I got to say, really, really uh, psyched to see you guys break through and really get the credibility of the alpha geeks out there. A lot of the guys <laughs> here are, have chops. We talked to yep. a bunch of them last night at the reception, and uh, you know, they're out there. They're doing some, they're writing code, there's data science, a variety of yep. breadth of, of kind of cutting edge. So, like they say in golf, it looks good off the tee, right? Middle of the fairway, we see how you guys can finish out yep. and continue the growth plan. And hopefully no mulligans. <laughs> <laughs> no mulligan. <laughs> no, 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 no lifesavers as we used to say. <laughs> Dave, uh, that's, a, that's a wrap. Okay, for here, and thanks for com some coming on the Appreciate it. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. We'll be right back with our wrap up after this short break. Yeah, thank you.